Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the interface like me. A lot of you ask me questions, so I'm going to solve this today. Uh, it is very easy, but might take you some time. You have to go to preferences, then here inside themes, you might have this, okay? You can change from Blender Dark and Blender Light only. Uh, they remove some options in the past and you can change here in user interface each color here to the color that you want okay uh, you have to do this for almost all of the colors okay so it might take you a lot of time to do so uh, i'm going to leave you in the description below a file to install this automatically it's this one you simply click in this file and install theme and as you can see the entire user interface is now changed with this orange color and all of that you can change the color such as you want depending the option for example this one you can change the color there um or if you want a different color for example i don't know this green you can change the color copy this hex uh, code and paste this along the other menus okay and that's basically now, how to change this background gradient like that? As you can see, there's a little gradient of vignette, vignette, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, okay, you have to go to 3D viewport, and here go to the bottom, theme space, and here gradient colors. Uh, maybe it can be like this, flat. You can change the color of the background as you want. But if you select uh, this option, you can change here the gradient. For example, uh, for the very darkest color, you can set simply black or maybe something blue like that, purple, I don't know. I'm going to keep it black. And here in high off, you can change this color to make a, a cool effect there, as you can see. You can keep it in gray or give it a little bit of blue color. And simple simple as that. I'm going to reset this to my to my custom preset. Because I like this this configuration, okay? When you have some models, for example, this chest I made in a previous video, and if you want to make the sculptures look like this. As you can see, we have some shadows and some highlighted parts. You need to go to this option, shading, just in viewport shading mode, it works. And enable cavity. As you can see, it looks flat without it. it looks very flat. And sometimes when you're sculpting this, it may not look very interesting. So I recommend to use the cavity option and it will be set in the screen, okay? Personally, I think this looks very bad. I don't like the screen mode. By the way, you can change these values and you can set the style that you want, but I don't like this very sharpened uh, or cartoon. I don't know, this, this line, this outline. So I usually use world and then change this reach to two and the value to two, okay? Sometimes when you're working, for example, if you make a cylinder and you you are working with shapes like this, um, you can see that the bottom, you can see that the bottom is very black and usually you cannot see there uh, the edges to edit. So you can play with this valley amount to give it a decent shadow effect, avoid that. And of course, give it a little yeah, interesting shadow. I usually keep in two, and when I face this problem, I manually decrease that value. And that's it. Basically, you don't have to touch anything else. The interface looks very good for me, and that's it. Thanks for watching. 